Hello, and welcome to my Digital Signal Processing Micro Lecture channel. In this lecture, I discuss why I use micro lectures and how these lectures should be used in the classroom. Although posting my lectures on YouTube is great for many reasons, such as helping students learn from all over the world, I mainly use micro lectures because my research has shown me that this is the best way to teach. Research has consistently shown that students do not learn in a strictly lecture based classroom. For example, in the average physics lecture class, students learn only 20% of the material. In the average logic lecture class, students learn less than 20% of the material. And heck, even in a signal processing lecture class, students learn only about 20% of the material that they did not know before entering the class. This means that in the typical four-hour engineering course, the average student does not learn about 48 hours worth of presented material. Imagine what you could do if you had 48 hours of your life back. So why do lecture classes fail so miserably? Well, in short, lecture classes are ineffective because they are based on a model of learning that doesn't match reality. Lectures present information as if the instructor can simply transmit information to their students uncorrupted. The truth is that no teacher, no matter how talented they are, can simply transmit information to their students. Rather, learning happens when students construct their own knowledge from their own experiences and knowledge, and then refine these constructions by testing their knowledge against the understanding of other people. In other words, learning starts with the student and the student's interactions with the classroom. Therefore, the classroom must first and foremost be a safe place for interaction, dialogue, problem solving, and practice. Micro lectures allow the teacher to focus on providing collaboration in the classroom rather than on presenting content. So, please do not simply replace your teacher with Wikipedia or my micro lectures. These micro lectures are meant to free up class time so that you can have more time to work collaboratively with your classmates. So find creative ways to talk about the material, ask questions, and collaborate with your fellow students. Get your instructors to stop lecturing.